Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries of the universe or pondered the enigmatic phenomena of black holes? These celestial bodies, so dense that not even light can escape their gravitational pull, have long been a source of fascination and curiosity. We are drawn to their mystery, their otherworldliness, and the tantalizing possibility of what lies beyond the event horizon. As we delve into the depths of space, we are continually amazed by the wonders of the universe. From the twinkling stars that adorn the night sky to the galaxies that whirl in the vast expanse of space, each discovery only serves to deepen our fascination and awe. Yet the universe, in all its glory, is not just a spectacle for our admiration. It is a vast, complex system governed by laws and principles that we strive to understand. And in this quest for knowledge, we are guided by the brilliant minds who dedicate their lives to unravelling the mysteries of the cosmos. One man who dedicated his life to unravelling these mysteries was the brilliant theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. Born on January 8, 1942 in Oxford, England, Stephen Hawking showed a passion for science and the cosmos from an early age. As a young boy, Hawking's curiosity was piqued by the mysteries of the universe. His passion for knowledge led him to devour books on science, enthralled by the complexities and wonders of the natural world. Hawking's interest in the cosmos didn't wane as he grew older. Instead, it was amplified during his time at Oxford University, where he studied physics. Here he dove into the world of quantum mechanics and relativity, subjects that would later become the cornerstones of his illustrious career. Despite his exceptional intelligence, Hawking was known as a somewhat unremarkable student, often preferring to learn at his own pace rather than follow the traditional curriculum. After his time at Oxford, Hawking moved on to Cambridge University to pursue research in cosmology, a decision that would set the stage for his groundbreaking work on the universe's origins and the nature of black holes. However, it was during his time at Cambridge that he received a devastating diagnosis. At the tender age of 21, Hawking was diagnosed with motor neurone disease, a condition that gradually robbed him of his physical abilities but left his brilliant mind untouched. The diagnosis was a major turning point in Hawking's life. Despite the initial shock and despair, Hawking refused to let his disease dictate the course of his life. He continued his research with an undying spirit, undeterred by his deteriorating physical condition. His determination and resilience were a testament to his extraordinary character, proving that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can triumph. Despite his diagnosis, Hawking continued to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Through the 1970s and 80s, Stephen Hawking made groundbreaking discoveries that would forever change our understanding of the universe. In the realm of theoretical physics, black holes had long been a subject of intrigue and speculation. These cosmic phenomena, known for their immense gravitational pull, were believed to be the ultimate devourers, swallowing everything in their path, even light itself. But Hawking turned this notion on its head. He proposed the concept of Hawking radiation, a theoretical prediction that black holes could in fact emit particles. This was a radical departure from the prevailing belief and it was the first time quantum effects were applied to black holes. His theory was based on the principles of quantum mechanics, which described the strange and often counterintuitive behavior of particles at the tiniest scales. According to Hawking, at the event horizon of a black hole, pairs of particles and antiparticles could be created. One of them might fall into the black hole, while the other could escape, resulting in a net loss of mass for the black hole. This process, over time, could lead to the evaporation of black holes, a concept that was unimaginable before Hawking's work. Hawking's work wasn't limited to black holes. He also made significant contributions to our understanding of the Big Bang, the event that led to the creation of our universe. He proposed the idea of a singularity at the start of the Big Bang. A singularity in the context of general relativity is a point where gravitational forces become infinite. This concept helped to explain how our universe could have sprung into existence from a single, infinitely dense point. 
These discoveries weren't just academic exercises. They had profound implications for our understanding of the universe. His work on black holes opened up new avenues of research in quantum gravity and quantum information theory. His ideas about the Big Bang singularity challenged our notions of time and space, leading to new theories about the origin and fate of the universe. Hawking's discoveries were revolutionary and they earned him a place among the most influential physicists of the 20th century. But his impact wasn't limited to the scientific community. He had a unique ability to translate complex scientific theories into concepts that were accessible to the public. He made science fascinating and engaging, sparking curiosity and wonder in millions of people around the world. Hawking's discoveries reshaped our perception of the universe, but his impact didn't stop there. Stephen Hawking was not just a brilliant scientist, he was also a remarkable public figure. His profound insights into the mysteries of the universe were not confined to the lofty realms of theoretical physics. He had the rare ability to translate these complex concepts into terms that the everyday person could comprehend, and in doing so, he brought the wonders of the cosmos to the doorstep of the public. Hawking's knack for making science accessible was evident in his popular science books. His best-selling book, A Brief History of Time, challenged the notion that such profound scientific ideas could only be understood by experts. Hawking demystified the universe from the Big Bang to black holes in a language that was engaging, clear and most importantly, human. But his influence wasn't limited to the written word. Hawking was a regular fixture in popular culture, making appearances in television shows, movies and even music videos. His distinctive voice, synthesized after he lost his ability to speak due to motor neurone disease, became one of the most recognized in the world. It was a testament to his resilience, his humor, and his ability to connect with people on a level that transcended the barriers of academia. Throughout his life, Hawking demonstrated a deep commitment to public engagement. He believed in the power of knowledge and the importance of sharing that knowledge with the world. He was instrumental in bridging the gap between the scientific community and the public, making the often intimidating world of theoretical physics not just understandable but also intriguing and exciting to the masses. In doing so, Hawking did more than just enlighten us about the universe. He inspired a sense of curiosity and wonder, igniting a passion for learning and discovery in countless individuals. He showed us that science is not just for the experts, it's for everyone. Hawking's influence extended beyond academia, reaching into the hearts and minds of people around the world. Stephen Hawking passed away on March 14, 2018, but his legacy lives on. His contributions to theoretical physics, from black holes to the Big Bang, have irrevocably altered our understanding of the universe. His theories continue to challenge and inspire scientists around the globe. Hawking's work, however, was not without its occasional errors, reminding us that even the greatest minds are human, prone to make mistakes. But these minor missteps did nothing to diminish his influence. More than a physicist, Hawking was a beacon of knowledge for the public. He had a unique ability to simplify complex scientific concepts, making them accessible to all. 